Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, part two of this. I've already brought in the text or the letters. I just I just hand put them in here. Uh, but what I want to do is make sure they're even, so I'm going to shift select both of them. And I'm going to hit T or B, and then that way they're parallel to each other. Now on this, you see the blacks kind of coming in at two different angles. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to lock my yellow box so I can't grab it. Now I'm going to take my text and I'm going to go to effects and I'm going to go to contour. I'm going to contour just one time, 0.2. I, that's all I, I don't really need to do any more than that because I'm going to show you what I'm going to do now. Hit apply. Now I'm going to break the contour apart on both of them. Object, break contour apart. And now all I have to do is just kind of use your imagination and take your shape tool on the contour and start kicking nodes into the black. You don't want it really into the white, so deselect. And we want that kind of at an angle. And I think that's pretty good. Um, we could probably select both those, right click and convert them to a line. I'm going to get rid of that because that's not supposed to be there. That was part of the contour. I'm going to take my Smart Fill tool and fill my numbers in with white and fill my outside with black. And then just do the same thing on the other side. I'm just going to break my contour is broken apart. I'm going to just make it an angle, put all your, my nodes into the, you can actually delete the nodes and then just have to move two. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and select both these nodes and right click and turn them into a line and that gives us a, a straighter, and I think this is actually angled like that, smart fill tool, and then turn it to white. That's why I'm using the yellow background. That's pretty close to the original. I mean, the original has got some other parts that I think she can figure out. That's just an outline, and those are stars that are in front of each other. And if you do need, now the only thing I don't understand is the font. If you want that font, we can do that font or something close with those lines. I don't see the reason for it. And like I did in the previous video or previous getting ready for this color eyedropper tool, we can actually, well, I've got that locked. Uh, I'm going to take my yellow box, lock and unlock and then take my, and make it like the color of the, of the graphic. That's pretty close to the original. I'm hoping that helped, thank you for watching.